guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl t back again with another video so i know y'all probably like girl what you doing outside at night y'all it ain't even late it's like 5 40. it gets dark so early now but we are actually headed into walmart to get stuff for our christmas tree i did go ahead and buy um a christmas tree a christmas tree skirt and a christmas tree bag um, off of Amazon the other day. So that'll be arriving to the house one of these days this week. And so I'm like, well, might as well go ahead and get the ornaments and everything for it, some decorations for the house. So that's what me and Elijah is up in Walmart about to do. I don't like this cart because it's, it's, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Let's get another cart. Come on. So um, we finna go tour what they got. If they don't have everything we're looking for here, we will go to Target. It might not be tonight, but hmm. it might not be tonight, but it'll be one of these days this week. So y'all know it's real when they got the fa la 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 decor up. But um, that's like, the seasonal area right there but we're gonna go down to um the garden section just to see if they have anything down there or like other christmas trees and like other stuff and then we'll make our way back it's a lot of people buying tvs in here tonight so come on, hi first we need to get something for our house because i don't know what we need so let me Mom said I can talk to you guys. <laughs> I'm five, I don't know. I know what I do, what I saw, what I do. But we are at Walmart, so we need I like it. They can't see you, boo. Um, at, we are at Walmart, and we need something for a decoration. So we done made it down here next to the lawn and garden area. Um, They have this stuff out like the gingerbread theme those are cute they got a carousel they got the little snoopy um globe not globe but um what do they call this a snow globe um that's what I originally, you guys, that's what I originally wanted to do, the uh, Snoopy theme. But they didn't have no decorations for Snoopy. Well, not Snoopy, but Charlie Brown, you guys. So, um, I was just going to do like a traditional Christmas and just decorate it real nice. Make it look cute. Y'all know how I do, how I go all out and stuff. Wow. They have this. I don't know. I might have, I might go ahead and still do it, you guys. And I could put these on my own. Around my house somewhere. I could I could really like, you know, finesse it. And this is only 98 cents. So I'll get this. I think I still want to do that, y'all. I really do. They got wrapping paper and all types of stuff. Over here, they got gift boxes. Um, let me see. I do. I want it to be cute, y'all. Oh wait, hold on. They have these too. Oh, Window wait. clings. I could put these on my windows. This is two ninety eight. I did look on Pinterest to see if they had some inspo. Um, and I, I need to really just get to a craft you. store, so I'm gonna get that. I'm also gonna get some of these gift tags right here, it's a hundred of them for a dollar. They have ribbon. I don't know if we should get ribbon. You think we should get ribbon, Eli? 
they have so many cool different things y'all i'm gonna go ahead and pick up some stuff and then i'm gonna show y'all what i got after i'm finished because it's just so much to choose from and i'm starting to get overwhelmed with trying to film and show y'all the stuff at the same time because i'm really like indecisive like it literally takes me a little bit of a moment to like decide what i'm gonna get because i'll be like oh i want this and then i'll see something else i'm like oh, i don't want that so yeah once i get everything i'm gonna show y'all what i got all right y'all so so far i did go ahead and pick up two of these i don't know if i'm gonna keep both but i know i'm definitely gonna get one of them um i got some buffalo snow and some other type of snow and a few other little things down here but right now we are in the lawn and garden area where they have all the christmas trees these are so cute the one that i just got is like it has the snow the fake snow and it's pre-lit but it's like bigger than that it's six feet but it's um it's more like that one right there but it's not that tall obviously but these are so beautiful I just want to come in here and see what they all had. Um, these are some more Christmas trees that they have in here. Um, they have some wreaths. Eli, you want to get a wreath for the door? Or you think we should create our own? I love that one, y'all. That one is so pretty. What's that? That's. I think that goes around the Christmas tree, Eli. That goes around the Christmas tree. I they have um a Mickey Mouse one. I want this. Let me see. Hold on. You just picking stuff up. I gotta see what it what it is first. This is Mickey Mouse. This don't go with our theme. And those things be messing up too. So that's I feel like that's just a waste of money. So they got a bunch more Christmas trees. They also have um more wrapping paper. Stop running, Eli. Um I like simple but cute wrapping paper like this i actually like this and i like that i might go ahead and grab this one this one is a bit longer and bigger in size so i'm gonna go ahead and just put one of those back they have other stuff over here like the welcome signs um for anybody that's doing the grinch Theme. They have wrench themed stuff here. And I feel like that's why people do that theme a lot because um, it's easy. It's like they always have it in the stores. But I'm tired of seeing it. Like I want to see somebody come with some with some heat, some stuff that people haven't done before. So I'm going to attempt to do this Charlie Brown Christmas, y'all. Y'all going to see how it all turns out. You want to pick the tree topper? We're looking for like a gold topper. They have these ones. They have that one up there. We need a gold star, boo. A gold star. That is gold. Yeah, we need a gold star. Which one you want to get? You want to get that one? Yeah. That's cool. Let me see. Y'all, let me see. It says try me. I want to I get another one. So I guess no, we don't need two. We only need one. Which cool ornaments you want to get? What is that? Yes. No, the ornaments in here. Want to get any cool ones? Cool looking ones? The cupcake. The cupcake? Yeah. What else? Get some different type ones. They got a whole bunch of different ones. They got owls in here. They got dinosaurs, or I think Cupcake. that one. You want that one? This one. You want to get him? Yeah, one more. Okay. What about penguin? No. I don't like that one. They got elf feet. I like this. Y'all, as promised, we are up in Target right now. And we are in their little hot spot. The little $5 and under hot spot. And I see these little things. I feel like this could go with our theme too. With the little um, um Charlie Brown 
like figurines can go on top of here. I think that would be so cute. So we're gonna get this. This is five dollars. They got um, a whole bunch of different stuff. I love these little iridescent um, Christmas trees. They got a whole bunch of different stuff. This thing can turn into a car. Oh wow! They have these. Um, the fa la 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 la. -la. They have these um, fa la 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 um, signs, the Mary sign and this Joy sign. I don't know if I should get any of them. I mean, I could put it in other places of the house, so I probably should get one of each. I think that's what I'll do. I don't know, I'm gonna pick this stuff up for right now, and if I see something else, then I'll get it. I'm gonna change this one, because this one looks beat up. Oh, well, they also have this advent calendar or advent calendar. This one is really cute. They have this as well. I'm trying to figure out which one would be better. Eli, pick one. The one the with the Christmas tree or the house one. Which one are we gonna pick? The house or the Christmas tree? I said the Christmas tree. You said the house first. This is five dollars. Okay. I like this one too. They have these little Christmas trees. Um, these ones actually light up. I just turned one of them on. Hold on, let me show you. See, isn't that adorable? That's so cute. I think I'm gonna get one. I think it's only a, oh man, that one just fell off. I'll get this one in the back back here. I think they're a dollar. No, they're $3. These ones should be a dollar. These little ones. I don't know if I need that. This, like that. Eh. I'm gonna just go with this one. ticket items out for the kids for christmas um the little bumper car they got this little uh plane swing they got the dirt bikes the atvs they got all types of stuff they got splash table they got a little playhouse what? yeah you have one of those but you know this one is for like the bigger ages see it says age eight right there yeah so yeah age eight I know you ain't eight. Because I'm literally five. Yeah, you're five, so it's too big for you. Yeah. It's too advanced for you. Yeah. All right, y'all. We are about to come over here to yeah. their Wonderland area. This is my favorite spot. Where did I go? Got wrapping paper. Target is like one of my favorite stores to shop in, y'all, if y'all have not noticed. But um, I heard that they kind of like went skimpy this year, so... I'm gonna see what we can find. I got a few things in my cart already, but I wanna see if I could get some more stuff from here. And then if not, I'll get the rest of the stuff offline. They got Christmas trees, the little tiny ones. This is colorful, that's cute. I'm looking for like, like colorful looking stuff, y'all, to go with my theme. These ones are for like the little trees that they have down here. All the little ornaments and stuff. This is cute. What is this? Oh, this is garland. Too adorable. All right, so so we just got back home not too long ago. Um, I'm about to make some dinner, and I will show you guys what I all got from Walmart and Target after I get Elijah all situated and stuff like that. I want to get him some food. I want to get him in the tub. And I want to put him in a bed because he has school in the morning. And um, I got to uh, finish uh, 
washing his clothes. They're already washed. I just got to dry them and then get his stuff all out or whatever. But as of right now, we're about to make some nachos, something quick. So I got some Jimmy Dean Country Mild Sausage that I'm about to ground up. And yeah. And I also need to clean my house, y'all. I really do. Well, straighten it up. So... Y'all, I was literally just in here, like, just praising God and thanking God, like, how he has sustained me this whole year. Like, getting into my own, own home, like, I used to be like, like, I know I could do it, but then you just always have that little bit of doubt in your, in your mind, like, will you be able to sustain it, you know, the, the rest of the, um, the rest of the year, you know? And I don't know. I feel like that'd be the devil playing on my, my psyche. Like, I know I could do it as long as I put my mind to it and stuff. But it just be that that little bit of doubt that'll get you. And so I used to think, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to maintain my home. But God has sustained me, okay? Like, he has supported me through every single thing, okay? And I just literally had to say thank you, like, and just raise my hands with, of gratitude to him because, y'all, just to know that I've been on my own almost a whole year, making sure ends meet for me and Elijah, taking care of my bills, you know, making sure he's well kept in myself, and um, taking vacations, being able to provide food in the house because I don't get food stamps anymore like just literally managing everything on my own and i'm just so grateful to god because man without him i would not be here and i just thank him i truly truly thank him because i'm not out here in these streets doing illegal stuff stealing um you know uh robbing people and stuff like that you know to try to make ends meet like i really truly thank god that he has kept me and he has just done so much for us like we are so 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 blessed there's no words to just to just express the amount of gratitude that i have like i'm so freaking grateful so thankful to god for real for real for real and I, and i think what had got me there was i had went and opened my refrigerator and I just had seen like my like my freezer is packed. It's not packed, but well, it, yeah, it's packed. But we have food, like we have food. We have a roof over our head. We have heat and hot water. We have clothes on our back. We have, you know, just so much. And I'm not sitting here to brag or anything, but I'm just letting y'all know that if you have not tried God, please try him. Because he never disappoints, never disappoints. And I was sick, and I was also thinking to myself, like, it's just super crazy how, like, you know, God will favor you, and sometimes you don't even deserve it. I was just saying to myself, like, the way I was telling y'all in that video, like, I felt disconnected from God and stuff like that. Like, I felt like I couldn't utter a word to him. And the fact that he has not took his hand off of my life. And I just, I'm just, I'm just overly thankful. I, there's, there's literally no words to express how I feel. Like, wow. Like, knowing that one well, I shouldn't be, <laughs> you know, blessed the way that I'm being blessed. But that just goes to show that God knows my heart deep down inside. Yes. What, what makes so red and yeah, it kind of looks like an M. Yeah. So, I'm just super, super, super thankful. I hope you guys can understand what I'm really trying to say. Because when I get in my feelings like this, it's hard for me to express, like, how I truly, truly, truly feel. Because there's literally no words for me to express it. So, like, yeah, like, I'm just super grateful, super grateful, super grateful. And that I have even um, been able to be a blessing to others, you know what I mean? So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping me and my child. Mm, 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 mm. God is 
God is just so good to us even when we don't deserve it. y'all so it is time for elijah to go to bed and i'm about to read him this book i want to try to start implementing reading every single night before he goes to bed um because we just want him to really get fluent with his reading and they say that um you know you just farted <laughs> they say that reading to a child and having a child read to you um it just helps them with that uh, development when it comes to reading so um when they hear the style of you read then they grasp that and then they're able to read it the same way so we're going to be reading the book that i got him for halloween it's called we're going on a pumpkin hunt and i got this I from walmart say, like, i want to say we're going on a pumpkin hunt where we're going on a pumpkin hunt yes all right so this is similar to the book we're going on a bear hunt that's my favorite book what's your favorite book yeah okay listen we're going on a pumpkin hunt we're going to find a big one what a beautiful night we're not scared i'm not scared either cats watchful green-eyed cats can't go over them can't go under them can't go around them. Got to go through them. Meow, 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 meow. We're going on a pumpkin hut. We're gonna find a big one. What a beautiful night. We're not scared. Uh-oh. Oh my God, what is it? Cobwebs. Sticky spider cobwebs. Can't go over them. Can't go under them. Can't go around them. Got to go through them. What? Tickle swish, tickle swish, tickle swish. We're going on a pumpkin hunt. We're gonna find a big one. What a beautiful night. We're not scared. Uh-oh. Bats. Bats. Flying, flapping bats. Can't go over them. 
Can't go under them. Can't go around them. Uh-oh. Got to go yeah. through them. Flap, 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 flap. We're going on a pumpkin hunt. We're going to find a big one. What a beautiful night. We're not scared. Uh-oh. A house. An old, dark, spooky house. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. What do we do? What do we do? Go inside. Got to go through it. Creaky squeak, creaky squeak, creaky squeak. That's scary. That's scary, Mom. A ghost! What, what, what was that? Back through the house. Creaky squeak, creaky squeak, squeak, <laughs> creaky squeak. Back through the bats. Flap, 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 flap. Back through the cobwebs. Tickle swish, tickle swish, tickle swish. Back through the cats. Meow, 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 meow. And all the way back. Wait, what's that? Wait a second. It's a pumpkin. Trick or treat. Whoa. The end. How'd you like that book? Mm. Out 10. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I figured you'd like it. So yes, y'all, that was, we're going on a pumpkin hunt. Hey besties. So as promised, I told you guys that I was going to give you guys this uh, Christmas decor haul. I went to Target and Walmart or Walmart and Target um, and I got some stuff. I didn't get everything that I need. So I will be doing um uh, another purchase from Amazon. My Christmas tree actually just came in today. So I'm super excited about that. You guys won't get like the holiday holiday content until next month because I want to do Vlogmas. I don't know if I told you guys that yet, but I am um, going to participate in Vlogmas this year. So if you guys have any Vlogmas ideas that you guys want to see from me and Eli, make sure you guys drop it down in the comment section below. And um, yeah, I make some shake for y'all. But anywho, y'all, I wanted to share something else with you guys. So, um, as you guys know, like me and Elijah, we've done went viral multiple times, viral, 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 whatever. Like we're we're somewhat known. Um, and so just recently I had posted a video of Elijah Blending Sounds. I'm sure you guys probably seen that video. And if you haven't, you can check it out right here on my YouTube channel. However, the video went super viral over on my Instagram. And once other people started catching wind of it, they was taking the video, they was uploading it to their accounts and stuff. So like, it's been a blessing and a curse at the same time. So like with the people that was just taking the video and just like uploading it as if it was their own, I had to do copyright infringements on them because like at the end of the day, everybody knows it's not a secret that you can make money on social media. It's true. You can make money. You can make you can make real good money. So, um, mind you, these platforms were huge, way bigger than mine, and they were getting tons of views. I'm like, uh, uh, that's money that you're taking out of my pocket. That's content that I produced and that I uploaded. Th that's mine, and you didn't ask for permission to use it either. So I got them taken down. But the news that I really want to share with you guys is. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Goddamn Zoe. I think that's his name on Instagram. I know him as Zoe. He's funny. He has a YouTube channel. Um, he's been on Wildin' Out. Um, he started uh, making like short videos and stuff. And he went viral off of that funny videos and stuff. And he's just hilarious. So he actually reached out to me. I'm going to put up the screenshot. He actually um, reached out to me. He was like, hey, um, can I use the um, video of your son blending sounds? And I had no problem with him using it, first of all, because it was a common courtesy that he even came to me first and foremost and asked me. And then the second thing is he actually put his own little twist on the video. So it's not like he just took my video and just uploaded it. You know what I mean? He put his own little twist on the video and it's hilarious. Oh my God. And 
he even went as far as tagging me in the video. So I appreciate, I appreciate, I appreciate. And I have gained so many followers from that. So shout out to you, Zoe. Um, we appreciate you so much for, you know, giving my son uh, a little bit of the limelight. Elijah is like the star of the family right now. Like this little boy <laughs> is like my golden child, like literally. And I ain't got no more children, but... I just knew it was always something special about him. But anywho, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys um, the clip. I'm going to insert it right here so you guys can watch it. It's hilarious. Okay, friend, we're doing blended words. You know what that is, right? Okay, what does... <laughs> what does that sound like, friend? Ah. <laughs> Dark. Okay, friend, listen to me again. What does that sound like, friend? Doggo. Oh my God. Okay, well, friend, listen to me. What does this sound like? D, a, uh, g, d, a, uh, g. What does that sound like, friend? Take your time. D, a, uh, God! If Johnny has mama, three hush, apples. Mama, hush. Friend, don't confuse him, friend. Don't worry about Johnny and three apples, okay? Two. Call me back. So yeah, y'all. Um, I've been watching that video over and over and over and over again. Like, I just <laughs> I just think it's so funny. It's so funny. It, it was the last part when he said two. He said, call me back. <laughs> I lost it. But anywho, y'all, I'm not going to um, ramble too much more. I want to really show y'all what I purchased at the um, store. So let's start. We're going to start with Walmart since that's where we went first. Okay. And off topic, I did go ahead and get me some moo-moos. I call them nightgowns. I don't know where this new word moo, -moo came from, but... Um, yeah, so I got me one of these. Actually, I had seen that Peach McIntyre. Y'all know she on her short form content. And so I be just catching wind of all her videos all the time. And she was just recently in Walmart and she had um shown that they had out the um the holiday moo moo. So I went ahead and got me this one. It says Holly and Jolly. And they're super soft, y'all. There were only $7.98. dollars Super soft. Um, <laughs> and it's easy access. Wham, bam. Wham, bam. Just up and down. It's easy access. Okay. Wham, bam. And then I got this one too. Um, this pink one. And I'm really not a fan of pink. But this one is super adorable. Like, I really love this one. It's so cute. So cute. And this one was uh $7.98 as well. But yeah, y'all, make sure y'all go and get y'all little moo moos or whatever before they're all sold out because it was barely any there when I had went and checked them out. So I was like, <laughs> rummy them, rummy them, throw them in the bag. Okay. All right. So first things first, I don't, I told y'all we're going to try to, um, do this peanuts theme, Charlie Brown Christmas. And so we needed some multicolored bulbs. So these were the ones that we found at Walmart. I don't even remember how much I paid for these. Um, but, oh, this was $19.98 for a 50 pack. This is a 50 pack right here. And then I also got some clear um, ones. These are actually actually glass. And so I plan on doing like DIY projects um, with this. So you guys are just going to have to stay tuned. So I do have a few ideas of what I want to do with Vlogmas. But um, if you guys have any other ideas, make sure you guys leave them down in the comment section below. Okay? So I got that one. That's a 10 piece. And then I got these jumbo ones it's kind of like iridescent looking a little bit and um six come in here so you guys will see what we do with those so i also got some paint this is the acrylic craft paint in yellow and then we have some puff paint in black 
So you, like I say, you guys will see what we do. We're going to use these for some of the bowls, but we all, I have some other ideas as well. So y'all just stay tuned. Follow me, follow me, follow me if you're not following me. Um, we got some multicolor ultra bright LED lights. This stuff was reasonably brew priced, y'all. Um, it wasn't, they were like, the stuff wasn't bad. I think my total had came up to about $200 in Walmart for the stuff that we got. We did get this peanuts, um, gingerbread house kit. So I can't wait to do this. I'm actually really good at um, making these gingerbread houses. The key to um, a great gingerbread house, you guys, like to keep it together is you have to use a lot of the frosting. You have to use a lot of it. That's what's going to keep it up. So I did get some wrapping paper. I got the ones with the lights on it. And I got this one. I think this is all the wrapping paper I'm going to need, y'all, because... I'm not going to be wrapping a whole bunch of gifts this year like how I've done in the past because it's only me and Eli now. I did find these window clings. So I will be putting these on the windows. I found these as well. These are for the window as well, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finesse it in here, y'all. I can't wait. I'm, I'm trying to plan out how I'm going to do it, but you guys will see that all in um those videos that are coming up. So... Yeah, I was just surprised that I was able to find some Charlie Brown stuff because I've been looking online and I haven't been able to really find anything. So I got to put my, my craft skills to work, okay? Um, Elijah picked up this uh, projector LED tree topper. So y'all, hold on. It lights up, but it's a projector at the top. So when the lights are off in the house, it will um, project snowflakes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it'll project snowflakes on the ceiling. And I thought that was super cool. It has many different actual ones, though. So, yeah, snowflakes. They have Santa and candy canes with Christmas presents and stuff. So, that's super, super cool. This was $16.98. So, if you guys want to go ahead and get you guys one, go ahead. I think the kids will enjoy that. I got these um, light magnets so I can decorate my refrigerator as well. I'm going to decorate every room of my house too, y'all. Um, normally, I just do the living room and like the kitchen area, but I'm even considering doing my bathroom too. So, yeah, um, I'm excited about that. I got some of this frosty snow, fake snow. I don't know why I always pick up stuff that's going to make a damn mess but i don't know i, I guess i just love cleaning up right <laughs> so um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this yet i know it's gonna probably end up somewhere around the tree in the tree on the tree i don't know but yeah we got this and i don't know if i showed y'all this yet but i got some um buffalo snow and you can use this for um a bunch of different things or whatever so it's definitely gonna give what needs to be gave here i got some gift tags and i got some ornament hooks i got some wrapping tape and then i also picked up this um gift wrap cutter so it cuts the wrapping paper like that so you don't have to use scissors um i do have scissors but i feel like this is just a little bit easier I did get some glitter. So pretty. Again, you guys will see what I use this for. Um, as long as you guys stay tuned and watch every video that I post. We did get some ornaments. So we got these little lights. I think I got like four of those. Yeah, I got four of these. So everything colorful, y'all, we're going for everything colorful because that's like kind of the theme with the peanuts theme, like colorful. I did get this peanut Snoopy ornament. Y'all, why was this ornament like $10? But it's super cute, so I couldn't pass it up. We got some elf feet. We have a crocodile, pink crocodile 
Elijah picked that out. And a blue cupcake. <laughs> Super cute. So, every, like I said, everything colorful. Okay. And I think that is everything that I had got from Walmart. So, now I'm about to show you all the stuff that I got from Target. I found some pretty decent stuff at Target. Um, Not a lot of the stuff that I actually really needed, but <laughs> it is what it is. So, we have this little um tray right here that I'm going to DIY. This was $5. We have a Christmas tree soap dispenser. Um, I think I'm going to put this in my kitchen. Yeah, I think this is going to go in my kitchen. This is super cute. Love that. I found this little spatula. It says, Merry Christmas. Couldn't pass that up. It was too adorable. And then I got these little towels for the kitchen. I absolutely love this one. I think that might be the theme that I go with in the kitchen. It's like the um, gingerbread theme and snowflakes and stuff. So, yeah. Oh my God, I cannot wait to decorate. Y'all, this is my favorite time of the year. Like, them other seeds, like, um, fall, Halloween, um, Valentine's Day. Like, they all cute and stuff. But when I tell you Christmas can get all my money, it can get all my money, okay? I absolutely love this time of the year. I love everything about this time of the year. It just makes me feel so warm and just so... <sighs> I don't know, like, it just makes me feel good. It just makes me feel good. It just brings out my inner child, like, it really does. I found this rolling pin, super cute. I could not leave this there, could not leave it. So we'll be doing a lot of baking um, because, y'all, this is, like, it, it's just so lit. Like, this is our first Christmas in our in our home. Like, we got to do everything. We have to do everything, right? So, I got some oven mitts. It says, holiday hooray. These are like the half, the half little mittens. So cute. So, we have that. And then, we picked up a bunch of cookie cutters. So, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of baking because that's just what happens around this time of year, Okay. So we have Santa with the sack on his back. We have an angel. These were all a dollar. Um, we have a gingerbread. We have a stocking. We have a candy cane. A snowman. Oops. And we have a snowflake. The only one that I didn't see was the Christmas tree. But that's okay. So I got all of those and then I went ahead and picked up this tray that looks like a peppermint. So you guys will see how I use this. I also got this cute little Santa sign. It says Santa stops here and it lights up so and that's so super cute and the top changes colors how adorable is that y'all <laughs> so i absolutely love this i told y'all i was going uh, with everything uh, with different colors everything with different colors but this sign was so cute i think this was like 20 bucks i grabbed us some mugs so i have a t for tiana and an e for elijah Y'all, we have no mugs whatsoever in, in 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 the house. I had one mug starting out that I had got from the shelter when we're in the shelter. Um, so I do have that one that I still drink out of occasionally. And um I just bought another one around Halloween time. So we have that one. And now we have these. So now we have four mugs in total. So now we we slowly but surely building up our little mug collection because one thing about me, I love mugs. Like I love a mug. So we'll be able to make our little hot chocolate with the marshmallows and stuff. I just cannot wait. This is my favorite time of the year. Uh, and then I went ahead and got us 
some stockings. These were $10 a piece, which I think is a little steep, but they're like the real heavy duty ones. But um, I had looked online to see if they had any cheaper or whatever. And they were the same prices like with the, um, the actual initials on them. So I was like, well, I'm already at Target. I might as well get them. And so I got these. And these ones will last a long time and they don't create because I we've had these before when I'm staying with, when I was staying with my mama, we had these same exact ones. Um, and they don't create like they don't create like the little cotton balls and stuff like that. So it's just better, you know, sometimes you gotta spend a little bit more um for the quality of things. So at least we'll have them for years to come. All right, moving on. I did get the Christmas tree that lights up a little Christmas tree. So we got that. I got this little joy sign, the fa la 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 sign. So I'll be putting this stuff all around the house. I don't know where it's gonna go yet, but I'm gonna find a place for it. And then I have this Mary sign. It's in gold. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm still not finished shopping, like I said, you guys. I'm going to do another purchase offline, and then we will start with our decorating process. So then I also picked up these ornaments. There's a T and an E for Tiana and Elijah, obviously. And I thought these were super cute. I love the little snowflakes on it, and I love the gold detailing. I love that. These were $5 a piece. And last but not least... I thought this was so freaking adorable. It almost brought tears to my eyes when I saw it. And I just could not leave Target without getting it. This one is an ornament that says Christmas at home. Y'all know that this is our first Christmas in our home. So this just meant so much to me. And I had to get it. I had to get it. So yeah, y'all. That's everything that I picked up from Walmart and Target. Um, I think I'm going to do a purchase from Amazon, a purchase from Oriental Trading. I've seen some stuff up there that I need. And I may even have to stop at like um, another craft store, like Michael's Craft Store or Hobby Lobby or something like that to get some more um, like supplies and stuff that I need. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. Or I hope you guys enjoyed that huge haul. 